Welcome back to Site Tech in your Mountain Earthworks training videos. I wanted to do another quick tip for you on a function on the screen that not a lot of people know about in Earthworks. Right now I'm sitting on a slope that we're starting to cut out here on a dump site. I'm sitting at about a 40% right there, which not way steep, but starting to get steep. And that's where you may need to change your vertical offset from vertical to perpendicular. It could be the difference between a tenth or two on your um, offset here. So if you were ever cutting slopes with an excavator really steep or a dozer really steep and someone was actually going to check your grade on it, you could be a little bit fat or a little bit thin based on this function right here. So right now with your vertical offset, you have the normal up and down option that's kind of flat. If you touch and hold and go in there, you can actually hit a drop down bar under here that's for the advanced options. And in here, the direction is vertical. So the arrow right here, you can see on the main screen is deceiving because a vertical offset, it will say you had the minus 50 like I do here, six inches down. The machine is understanding that straight down on the model. And it's also going to be straight down on the slope, not perpendicular. So there's a chance that you'll come up short just because of that geometry, that angle. So if you change this vertical to perpendicular, you'll see the arrow actually changes to perpendicular. And as you do it, if you look really close, you'll notice that up here, the green line doesn't change and right there doesn't change, but it does on the actual slope. So the steeper and steeper you get on slopes, the more and more it could be off on your offset. So let's go ahead and put it back on vertical just to show you. It's not very much on the main screen, but right now I've got about a fill of a 10. So I'm gonna go ahead and just come up just a little bit to match that to get it to zero. So I'm zeroed out at a vertical offset. If I touch and hold and go in there and simply change it without moving the machine to perpendicular, same offset and go back, I've got about a cut of 500s. So not a lot because I'm not on a crazy steep slope, but it does make a difference. And it's just something I wanted to show you. If you're on a slope sideways or if you're pushing straight down, just be aware of that option in here. And even the icon on the outside changes to kind of showing on a slope when you do this. So just be aware of all your little hidden menus in here at the very bottom under these little drop downs. If you click it up, you're gonna notice it's kind of hard to see if you don't know what's in there. So thank you for watching this video from SiteTech Inner Mountain, Earthworks training videos on vertical versus perpendicular offsets.